I don't know. Like, well, I don't know what you guys. Ooh, I don't. Well, I don't know if this is the one I'm looking for. <laughs> I think it's how you pronounce it. What's up, guys? And welcome to another unboxing. Now you're probably wondering, where the hell is Liam, Mr. Bear, our big boy? Um, he is. Uh, he's taking. He took vacation. You know, the, uh, you know, he took vacation on the most critical time of the year. Oh, hell no. And I'm just kidding. Obviously, it is the holidays, and a, a lot of my employees, of course, are taking their time off with their families and friends. But me, I always work. I'm a workaholic, if you guys haven't figured it out. Enough rambling. We are here with today's <laughs> unboxing. It is, of course, Magnificent Mavids. It was kind of a decision between either this one or Crystal Revenge. But I kind of like the idea of this one being more so because it is a holiday set. So let's see if we can actually pull a Dark Magician girl out of this. Uh, that is going to be one of the high pulls for today. Um, I don't know if anything else of value, but obviously I'll have images popping up here of other, um, you know, other cards that I want. But yes, let's see what we get here. Let's do this. You guys know the drill. Press the like and subscribe. And of course, check out our gaming channel as well. Linked in the description now what we really like about this set obviously is it actually does come with sleeves wow so um normally Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't include sleeves but they actually do in this set which we talked about in our first parts of this so definitely check that out linked over there if you guys want to check out more of magnificent mavens now the one thing i failed to point out in the previous video is they actually give you different pack designs which is very very cool so um, this is actually my third uh, Magnificent Mavens and this is a, actually another different uh, sleeve, which is great. Now, this is only four packs. It might not be that much editing involved, but uh, you know, it's me running solo for the most part. I do have Miss Safra, of course, who's assisting during my time of need. But for the most part, it's me doing 80% of the work. <laughs> All right, regardless, here's our first card here, our totally awesome card. Very, very cool. Next is the Sky Striker Ace Zeke, which we saw last time, I believe. And this one being the uh, Sword Soul Blackout. I'll probably have the prices listed down below uh, because I can't actually look at the prices in real time uh, because uh, my boy Liam is not able here. Like, it's like he's reminiscing all the good times. Me and Liam had pack openings. But obviously we have this card right here. And the final card is the Dragon Maid Changeover. Now, what I, what I will say about these sets, most of them will obviously be ultra rares. And some of them may include secret rares or the feral secret rares. Those are what we're looking for. Feral ultra rares and feral secret rares. But next pack regardless is here. First card is the uh, Soul Sword Emergence. So we got some new cards in the fly, which is pretty cool. This one looks very cool, actually. Um, I, I think we got it last time, maybe. The Ale Leron. Next is this one right here. This is the Gozen Match. Very cool. A little samurai to samurai action there. Next is the uh, Maya Kazi Return. Yeah, I totally pronounced that perfectly, Miss Afra. Thank you very much. <laughs> Last card here is the Vampire's Curse, which I don't think we had last time either, but it looks familiar. So I'm pretty sure you can use this on a lot of vampire sets or zombie sets, if you will. So nothing truly high value, at least I, from my perspective. Obviously, when I do the, the edits here, I'll know the prices for, but nothing that I've seen that ca caught my eye. All right, next, let's do this. This is pack number three. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying your wonderful holiday break, I guess. Uh, either break from work or break from school, break from life. I don't know. Like, well, I don't know what you guys. Ooh! Okay. I don't, well, I don't know if this is the one I'm looking for because I know there's a actual ultra rare version of this. But um, I'm kind of curious on the price of this one. So I might actually pause the video to actually uh, look up this price. But this is the Yata Karazu. Now, I do wish. I got more into the actual uh, the, the gaming of this, but I'm more of a collector for those that may not already know. So I mostly try to 
complete my collection, whatever that set is, and try to you know maximize that versus actually playing these cards in an actual match. But I know a lot of people do that, and uh, they actually pay high value for some of these cards. So some some ideas I was thinking about doing eventually is uh, restarting up my uh, my website to sell some of these cards. If you guys are into that and and, uh, and want to see more of these cards actually available for sale, let me know in the comments because I definitely want to. Uh, you know, support the gamer in all of us, the duelists in all of us. All right, so this is not the car I was looking for, but it's still a pretty decent price at 41 cents. But I do know that it's uh, it's, it's used quite a bit on certain, certain meta decks. All right, but let us proceed. All right, this is the Exchange of Spare and Hope. This is the next card. Next is the uh, Oni Bimaru. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. Soul Sweeper. Very, very cool. A Hero Lives is another cool card. It has like, uh, almost like uh, the, the God of War character in there. Yeah. At least he kind of looks like him, even though he's bright, bright green. Ooh, a waifu card. Yay! I love waifu cards. This is the Witchcrafter Jenny. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. All right, guys, final pack, final pack. Still nothing that I saw that was super high value, but I might have skipped it, unfortunately, because I can't, I can't always look at these cards real time, but I might stop and stare at certain, certain ones. Okay, the first one here, uh, I got a few of these already. This is the Millennium Eye Restrict. And I know this is about a 40 to 50, maybe even 60 cent card. Uh, obviously, correction in the post edits. We have the uh, Ghost Meat Girl. <laughs> a, a masterful Mayakasi Shiranyu Saga. They put a lot of text in this. Like, if you look at the text bar right there in the very top, it's like they, 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 they kind of scrunched up that, that, uh, that name into one. You don't have to do that, Konami. Come on. But I get it. Whatever. All right. The Doom Dozer is another one. Bug type looks like. Insect type. And then the Soulful Supreme... So Severance, yeah, that card, yeah, very pretty as well. The final card, drum roll please, is the Sky Striker Mecha, the Widow Anchor. All right, so unfortunately nothing super high value to finish off. Um, I still have a lot more of these Magnificent Mavens at home. Um, I kind of forgot it was only four packs, so you know, it's kind of a short video to kind of edit and get, get out for you guys for the holiday season um, while I'm kind of almost flying solo. Um, obviously, Miss Saffron is actually, you know, still supporting, but from behind the scenes mo mostly. But uh, big shout, of course, to uh, all the hard work put in by Liam throughout the year. Um, obviously, 2023 is around the block. Very, very excited to see what is in store for 2023. Um, obviously, new packs, of course, for both Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. And we actually might kind of branch out maybe towards maybe summer or even fall of next year to other unboxings that we are interested in. But we'll try not to, uh, we'll try to maintain our schedule for the most part. Um, I'm still working on the Crystal Revenge Part 2. Obviously, that's coming around probably in 2023. We're also working on the Dark Wing Blast as well, probably 2023. And, of course, the PSA returns for all the cards that I sent out to PSA about, about a month ago. So those came in. That, that's probably going to be one of the ver very first videos of 2023. So get hyped for that. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And finally, if, if, in terms of that, the Yu-Gi-Oh! side of the house, I think we, we're going to be doing some more of the Silver Tempest possibly. Um, there's a lot of new sets coming out. I don't know the full extent of it because uh, Liam is he's the easy expert in all things Pokemon. You guys are awesome. Guys, definitely, definitely check out our gaming channel. We're doing Pokemon Scarlet there. Uh, Liam should probably have his copy by now. Uh, so definitely, uh, you, you'll be playing the Violet side of the house. Now we play the Scarlet side of the house. And we're gonna be trying to we're, we're gonna try to co-op that into a single playthrough somehow, some way. If, if it sits, it fits. Um, but that's pretty much enough rambling. That's all I got. We'll definitely see you next time. Be, be on the lookout for the unboxing as well as gaming highlights. Uh, definitely coming later in December. So that's all I got. Again, we'll see you next time. I've been Troy. My buddy somewhere over there in the distance, Liam. I don't know what, I don't I guess he's sleeping. I don't know, probably 
have a good old time. But love you guys. 2023. Get hyped. Peace.